Are you interested in connecting with your deepest wisdom, of having a sense of direction and guidance in your life, a sense of wind in the sails to move you forward? I'm Dr. Judith Boyce, and I'll be sharing with you an invitation to the maiden voyage of my new program, Wild Wisdom Writers. First, I'll be sharing with you my biography, my why you should pay attention to me biography, my professional credentials. Then I'll be sharing with you the real reasons that I write. We'll look at an outline, an overview of the journey that we'll take together and some of the details of what the sessions will look like. Finally, I'll share with you how you can register and be part of this extraordinary exploration. So first, some of my pro professional background credentials, I'm a naturopathic physician, acupuncturist, fellow of the American Board of Naturopathic Oncology. I'm also the author of 12 books, four of which have won five awards, one of them as a number one international bestseller. So that's my, um, those are my scholarly or my academic credentials. I've also written for both national and international publications. I have a lot of writing background and experience. Now I wanna share with you the real reasons that I write. In my early twenties, I was living at the Finthorn Foundation in Scotland uh, and I was in the membership training program at that point, there was a, an elder in the community who came to do an exercise with our group, a co-creation exercise. And the point of this exercise was first to connect with ourself, with a small s, our small self, about what ideally we would be doing in our lives. The sense I had in the exercise was that my work would have something to do with teaching and speaking. Then, in the exercise, we're asked to completely let go of our intellectual ideas, our thoughts, our expectations about what might come out of connecting with the divine and co-creating, ask, asking, how can I best work with you collaboratively to move forward in my life? So in that deeper, quieter place, I asked, how can I best collaboratively create my life now, co-create with you, with the divine? I sat in silence. And what I heard in the silence was, right. One word, right. And immediately I thought, well, right what? And the response that came was, right, right. That's the only direction that I received. At that time I was working in the garden. So each morning before I would go to work in the garden, I would do some guided writing. I would listen inwardly to the devas and the elementals in the garden to spirit and ask, how can I best focus my work today? And sometimes there were very specific instructions like plant carrots today, but often it was more about how I was going about my work. Um, over time then, and I, within a couple of months, there was a visitor who came to the community and we had a very wonderful connection and spent an evening having a conversation in front of the fireplace in Clooney Hill College doing what I call sparking, having these really wonderfully electric sharing ideas going back and forth between us. Um, and what came out of that was the plan for writing a book about Gaian communities, communities that support the life, health, and diversity of the planet. So with this plan in mind, I made arrangements to go to India and live in Oroville in the south of India in the sweltering heat of Tamil Nadu. Um, and then also to travel and spend time with traditional Aboriginal people. It, I ended up, it was a long circuitous journey, but I ended up in the middle of the Western desert in Australia, living and traveling with the Marta Jara, some of the ancient traditional inhabitants of that desert. These are places I never would have gone without the catalyst of writing. And I realize now in retrospect, writing was also my companion, my support, my protection in those journeys as well. And when I looked back at what writing has gotten me into and out of in my life, I realized that writing has gotten me out of a hospital bed. It's gotten me into a prison, out of a marriage. And it's also gotten me into a career as a healer and a physician and many, many other places I likely never would have gone to, never would have explored or traveled to, both literally and figuratively, if I hadn't had writing as my companion. So in Wild Wisdom Writers, we'll be exploring wisdom. And I've realized over the years, 
that my journeys have become more and more internal. And many of the things that have happened to me inwardly make those outward journeys pale in comparison. Those inward journeys have become deeper and richer over time. I realize wisdom is like a diamond and each facet of the diamond, each cut on the diamond is like another doorway, another entrance into the deep soul. So in the Wild Wisdom Writers, what we'll be doing is exploring those portals, those gateways, those facets of wisdom. Some may be very familiar to you. Some may be completely new pathways to the divine, to be able to listen deeply. So it's an exploration that we'll be doing together, and you'll be fine-tuning, refining, polishing your particular ways of connecting with the divine. So a brief overview of the journey. First, in the beginning, we'll be developing the tools that can assist us in deeply listening inwardly and also to each other and being able to write the wisdom that we encounter. And then easing into the journey, we'll focus first on the wisdom in our bodies and our physical vehicles, as well as the wisdom in the earth body. We'll continue then deepening the journey, listening to the wisdom of our biological ancestors, our physical lineage, as well as the spiritual lineage that we work with, both the Con the spiritual lineages that you may be consciously aware of, as well as the esoteric hidden lineage lineages that may also be shaping your experience of wisdom. Then finally, we travel down the pathways of the lineages to the place in the center of the wheel of life, the empty center where all of the lineages meet, the unfettered, untamed connection directly with spirit. The final section will be exploring our collective wisdom, being able to listen deeply to the wisdom of others and take those um, diamond-like flashes of inspiration and wisdom from other people and reweave them into our own creation. So that's a, a brief overview of the journey that we'll be taking together. What we'll do in each session is first, we'll be lighting the lantern within connecting with our own source of wisdom, as well as the collective wisdom of the group and the larger circles that hold us. We'll drink from the chalice, we'll connect with those circles that support and protect as we explore the fertile, fertile wilderness of the soul. We'll woo the muse, we'll have short readings and possibly a short presentation to prepare us for the territory that we're about to enter. Then we'll have lots of time to enter the silence, to write from that place of deeply connected wisdom and also to share with others. And then finally, we'll end the evening that, or the time that we work together by following the river of gold, thanking the circles that support us and guide us and preparing for the next segment of the journey. What's included in the program is recordings of our classes and six months of access to those recordings after the end, the finish of the class. Um, with this um, initial group, we'll also have a membership either in Facebook or on another platform so that you can deepen the connections that you make with the other participants and the training. You'll receive a packet of readings um, a, a digital packet of readings that we'll be working with in class, plus some additional readings that you can use on your own for inspiration. And finally, limitless inspiration. There's an endless source of inspiration that will come in our journey together. Um, for those of you who are ready, there's also a quick action bonus and that if you respond in the next 48 hours, I'll be offering you a special training, a bonus training, um, live training on how to create a sacred writing retreat, how to do that for yourself, to create the chalice, to go even more deeply with your writing work. What I'll be asking you as a founding member on this maiden voyage is your presence to show up weekly uh, or as close to weekly as you can barring extenuating circumstances. Your weekly feedback about what you've learned, what was supportive, what was challenging, and anything that you would suggest changing. Your written endorsement, if you feel that the chorus warrants it at the end and possibly a recorded interview with you about your experience and what you've gleaned from the journey together. The investment for the course for this maiden voyage is discounted because um, you're working with me 
and giving feedback is $397. You can also pay $199 over two months. Again, this is discounted. You will never see this discounted rate again. It will be going up significantly after this first voyage. So please, if you feel drawn, if this speaks to you and you're ready to move forward with this journey with an extraordinary group of women, please respond to the recording either below on this Facebook post, if you're looking at it in Facebook, or send me an email, drjudith at drjudithvoice.com. I'll spell it for you, D-R-J-U-D-I-T-H at D-R-J-U-D-I-T-H-B-O-I like ice cream, C-E.com, drjudith at drjudithvoice.com. Send me an email and I'll respond with um, information about how you can register for the course. I'm so delighted to have you, to welcome you, to invite you to join me. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>